Hey, I'm Seth with Best I Can Do Barbecue, and today I'm going to try not to screw up smoked queso. Alright, so, uh, we just got done playing a nice little round of golf. want to come in and have something that's uh, different to eat, something easy to eat, maybe a little party food. Um, a guy actually sent me this in an Instagram message like, hey, you should make this. And so that's what I'm going to do. I've got everything pre-done already. I've got a, the recipe calls for smoked Gouda. I couldn't find any. All I could got, I got Monterey Jack. I got cheddar. I like sharp cheddar. I got tomatoes diced up. I've got diced up cilantro, onions, mushrooms, green onions, uh, a jalapeno. I de-seeded it because my wife doesn't like spicy stuff. And then I've got about a pound of chorizo, chorizo. I got a pound of chorizo because I'm fancy. We're bilingual. We call it fancy sauce. Mm, for me. Uh, the last two things I got to do, and then the rest of this video is going to be me uh, just looking over what we got. So the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of salsa. And if you're not eating Julio salsa, what kind of jackass are you? So I'll put a little bit of the Julio's on this side over here. Put about half of it in there. And this brand here is... Miss Renfro sounds like an 80s sitcom. Sound like, um, I can't think. Gary Coleman's gonna be like, come on, Miss Renfro, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, Will? <laughs> All right, Miss Renfro. She's Pioneer Award winning. It's homegrown. All right, so then I'm gonna put, this is just uh, green salsa. I'm gonna put it on the other side. I'm gonna dump about half of that in there, too. All right, now I'm gonna get my grill heated up. I'm gonna get it to about 425 degrees and my PK and smoke it for 30, 45 minutes. Then we'll go back and add a little bit of milk to it and stir this shit all up. I'll catch you outside. But first, we're going to bring the camera in and look at all this. All see right, how so, like I said before, this is our, uh, our plate here. And I've got, I've got Monterey Jack, green salsa, red salsa, some Julio's, chorizo, tomatoes, cheddar, Green onions, cilantro, jalapenos, mushrooms, and uh, white onions. The tomatoes we use are Roma tomatoes, as my wife said. And uh, so I'm going to put this on the grill. She's a, she's a, one hell of a thing of nachos. Nacho! But my life is good. Really good. Okay, so I'm back. My grill is just a little over 400. It's like 415 or so. I know it's going to get the temp. I've got about a charcoal chimney and then plus some left over from last night. We got our stuff laid out here, got the chorizo and all that. I'm not I'm kind of doing two zone cooking, but not a bunch. I just wanted to be sure my grill was gonna get hot. And so I've got that there. I'm gonna be sure my grill's gonna shut where I've got it set. Nope. Got to move it just a little bit to the front, maybe back. Uh -huh. We're gonna shut there. Hell no. This is a bigger pan, probably what I wanted. All right, so we're good there. We're shutting. All right, now, what we're going to do real quick, put on my heavy-duty firefighting gun. And so I, the reason I'm going to use, oh, it's hot as hell. The reason I'm going to use mesquite is because it's queso, right? It's got to be like, you know, we don't want that stuff made in New York City. That stuff made in New York City. Waiting a whole lot to do it. Oh shit, that's a lot. Alright, so we're gonna smoke it with these uh, hickory stuff, hickory chips. And I'm gonna shut my grill. I'm gonna let it come back up to temp. I'm gonna kinda leave it open for a minute to get it back, I want it to get hot, and then I'm gonna shut the grill back down, uh, shut this top vent off on this side so the smoke goes that away. And we're gonna let this cook for 30, 45 minutes. Okay, so we are back. I have pulled the uh, smoked queso, uh, smoking queso. Anyways, I pulled it from the grill, and uh, I forgot to put the milk in it because it calls for milk. So we put milk in it, started up. Uh, I don't know that it's the consistency that I expected. It kind of looks like a vomit or a bad beef stew. Gruel, please, sir, get some more. So please, sir. I want some more. Okay, but uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw it on a chip. A couple of chips. Tostito scoops. Anyways, so I'm going to put it on a chip. Dude, 
I fear for my life. This is going to be the hottest thing that ever touched my lips. Uh, it smells like uh, heat. All right. I don't really like it. Um, tastes like chili. Like chili. Yeah. Um, so I made the thing everybody showed me on the Instagram. Like, you should make this. I made it. It tastes like chili. But what made New York City? So, cut, cut, cut. Good sauce. Mm. Alright, that's what it looks like right now. Remember to like and subscribe. Comment below about what you think I did right or wrong, although you didn't see most of it because it was already pre cut. Um, I'll have a new video here pretty soon. If there's something you want to see me try to make, send me a uh, comment and I'll do my best. Uh, remember to drink local and cheers to good food.